George Osborne and Bill Gates were at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine to formally announce the Ross Fund, a major investment in the fight to eradicate malaria, which kills 600,000 people a year. There's more than one type of the disease which is caused by a microscopic parasite called plasmodium, spread by the female Anopheles mosquito, and mainly affects the continent of Africa. That's where Liverpool defender Colla Torre originates. He was infected in Ivory Coast, and although in his case the disease goes into remission, it still has a major impact on his life when it recurs. You just take all the power from you, you make you really, really weak. Even for a sportsman like me, you know, it's very, very difficult when I have that. I lose all my energy, I lose all my fitness in one, two days. You know, and that's very, very difficult. And can you imagine that for, for kids, you know, uh, uh, who like have that, you know, for a few days they feel really, really bad. That's why some die from, the, from, from that differently. The new £3 billion Ross Fund is named after the school's first lecturer and UK's first Nobel laureate, Sir Ronald Ross, who started teaching in 1899. Well, malaria is a terrible thing. There's hundreds of millions of people who get it. It holds back economies. Uh, it kills over 600,000 children a year, almost 10% of all the children that died before the age of five. And we have some really great science, whether it's uh, Liverpool or Imperial or Oxford or some partner institutions. Uh, by taking this research money and coming up with new interventions, the scientific community has agreed that by 2040 we can get rid of this disease. And so for all the countries, this would be very, very transformative. Uh, their kids would grow up uh, far more healthy. They could have their own economies and be self-sufficient. And we need to help them by getting rid of this disease. I've been to some of these areas of Africa affected by this terrible disease. It kills many of the children. It leaves families debilitated. And it means the economies of these countries can't really support themselves. And that creates security issues and, of course, leads to migration. So tackling malaria at source, working with people like Bill Gates, using great British science to do it, helps Britain's national security as well as being the right thing to do for saving lives in our world. And that's exactly the combination I want to see our aid budget being used to deliver. How do you even begin to, 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 to tackle eradicating an illness like malaria? So I think the issue there is we first to try and prevent it. Um, and that's obviously done by things like bed nets, um, vector control to try and stop the mosquitoes actually transmitting the parasite from human to human, um, where we can't actually prevent um, what we're then trying to do is make sure that we actually treat and have drugs that actually work. Um, and there, because you do have multiple parasites, um, some of those drugs will work across different parasites, others the drugs need to be specific. Um, and so alongside that we want diagnostics so that people at the point at which they need to give the treatment can make sure A, that they really do have malaria and not just a, a fever of, of a different sort, and B, if they've got malaria, what kind of malaria they've got. Um, and then finally, on the prevention side, we don't yet have a really effective vaccine. There is one uh, that GSK have out there that will do some of the job, um, but there is a big research programme there to try and get a, a new vaccine that will complement the uh, prevention and treatment regimes that we already have. Peter Berry, Bay TV Liverpool News, at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine.